Hey everyone, this is Butts327, and welcome back to Midsummer Night. I keep wanting it to, wanting to call it Midsummer Night's Dream, but it's not. Um, so we are on the on the case of the missing sister, dragged off into the woods by the beast. All right, so I'm going to overstrain myself and still not be able to push the cart an inch. Oh, it's a dead frog. Judging by the frog's condition, she's been run over recently. The owner of the cart can be somewhere near here. Maybe, the th maybe things belong to the owner of the cart. I have nothing to take here. Okay, what about the wheel? Why would I need it? I won't be able to put it back by myself. It can only serve as a nest for a stork. Okay. No passage. Alrighty then. Where are we going? Cannot pass further. Alright, let's go in the other direction. Why would I need that? I don't know. It's a shovel. It's a blunt object you can hit the beast with, maybe? Uh, kind of hard to see here, kiddo. Um, the passage. The passage. Yeah, there's passage up here. Are we out of the meadow now? Oh great, the tree's talking to us now. Dry, crooked branches of this giant tree are bending the squeaks towards Clem. Greetings, young man. Greetings. The tree looks at Clem with interest and continues. With you being here, young man, would you do me a favor? What kind of favor? I've been feeling bad lately. You may notice for yourself that the leaves have gone and the bark is rotten. The reason behind this is the exhausted spring. It's life-giving water used to nourish my roots. I've been standing here since the creation of the world. Believe me, that is a long time and it never happened before. The spring never dried out completely, even during the most severe drought. It would be so kind of you to find out what happened to the spring. Mighty Willow, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I can't help you now. My sister has disappeared. A huge beast took her away, and I'm following his trails. Hmm. This situation does require immediate action, but if you find the solution to my problem on your way, I'll be much appreciated if you let me know. Of course. Why are the trees talking? And why did the trees have eyeballs? And why is there a big gnome statue here? Can I talk to it? No. Look at this. No. So confused. This is some kind of Alice in Wonderland stuff here. With the bunnies and the things that are talking and have eyes and... I don't know, it's been a long time since I watched Alice in Wonderland. What's going on with the story? I don't know where I'm going. At all. Can I go through here? Probably not. No, no passage. <sighs> Where do I go? Over here. No passage. 
Now, horse feathers. Okay, Clem, trying to find your sister. But where am I supposed to go? I'm going to go for a hint here. Willow asked me to find out the reason why the spring has dried out. I have to find the trail of the beast that took my sister away. Okay. But the trail disappeared. You still haven't found your sister. No peeping. Okay. Alright, so... Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Something changed up here. Can we go this way? No. No passage. No passage. A bunch of trees. Wagon stops. Cannot lift it. Why would I to get to the other side? Why did the chicken cross the road to think? Oh boy. I don't know what happened there. That was I'm sorry, folks. This is getting a bit redundant. You have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Maybe I need to do something with the gnome. Half an hour. <laughs> Let's follow the trail. Where's the trail lead? The trail leads to the gnome. Oh. Okay. Do I give it to him now? No, not yet. Do I have to use the water on the gnome? No. Okay. Had enough, but where do we go now? That is the question.
I have to wonder. I'm gonna try something. It's probably gonna be unsuccessful, but just maybe. Just maybe. We'll see. There we go. Frog looks at the boy with joy in its eyes and instead of the usual rivet says so. Nice. Stretching as if it was pleasantly having a nap in the afternoon. What happened? Why are you staring at me with eyes wide open? Did anyone die? Yes, you. What are you talking about? You were run over just an hour ago. You were lying there flat as a pancake. The frog narrowing its eyes. Oh, yeah, now I remember. I was crawling to a neighboring swamp to visit my old friend. Toad... Fan Fudius. Suddenly, something pressed me down to the ground, and then everything went dark. Yes, it was that car over there. Didn't you see where its owner go? The cart has blocked the road, and I can't pull it aside on my own. Before I lost my consciousness and my mind sank into nothingness, I saw a man going towards my swamp. But as you mentioned before, you've got you've got a trouble here. You can't move this card aside, so you can't get there. Hmm. Yeah, I have to think. Okay, meanwhile I want to sit there and sit here and croak and enjoy myself in the last rays of the warm July sun that goes down over the horizon. Let's say recover myself. Having said that, the frog closes its eyes and gets a serene look. Have you any ideas on how to remove the cart? No, not yet. Okay, what about the wheel? No. I didn't want the frog on the wheel. Alan. I saved a frog. Can I have you that dead? <sighs> Can the tree help me again? No. That can't help me. Whoa, wait a minute. Pure swing used to run here, now it's ran dry. Somehow you're getting the water. I don't know what to do. at all. Is this a path here? Looks like it might no no passage. Pardon me, I'm being stupid, but I, I have no no clue where to go here. Small chests fell down and open. Bright textiles are scattered all over the place, and everything is co covered with colorful shatters. Okay.
Well, the f we could move and we could go around the frog. Oh boy. Do we have to use the water on this? No. No, we won't go back here. Why is this bush looking so strange? Great. And pop the creepy, why don't you? Nope, there's nothing over here. There is something crawling around in the distance, though. I can hear it. I do not have the strength to dismantle this dam. Someone has constructed a dam here, blocking the flow of an underground river. The water barely trickles through the hefty boulders. Okay. Oh. What are you nosing out here, you brat? I'll beat the tar out of you. Leave him. But he'll tell everyone. Nothing to worry about. The king has already made a deal with the village head. And the people will only be glad to have cheap firewood for their stoves, fertilizers for their household, and the job of collecting the peat, which the king will play, pay for very generously. You brat, I hope you haven't damaged our dam, or you'll drain the bog yourself. That's true. You'd better go away. This is a nice little game. I'm happy I bought it. Happy I'm recording it. And I hope somebody's out there watching and enjoys it too. Nope, still can't talk to the tree. That tree, anyway. So let's go find the big tree. Tell him what's going on. And after we talk to the big tree, I'm going to end this episode because I'm running out of time. Mighty Willow, I found out the reason for your misfortune. Some people have blocked the underground river that feeds your spring. They built a huge dam from rocks and logs and the water comes barely through it. They said they were draining the swamps. Something about peat. I can't break it down on my own, sorry, but I can come back with help from my village when I've saved out Al Alyanushka. Well, everything is clear to me now. Don't bother. If people want to drain the swamps, they won't stop. You can break the dam down. But they'll build a new one. The epoch of great trees is fading. My days are numbered. I hope the fate of the other trees will be different. So there are other trees like you? In the earliest days of our world, in prehistoric times, we used to grow everywhere. Our forests made the forest stronger, and there were floods and fires. But thanks to us, the forest restored after any bad luck and always became better until people came. Now there are only four of us left in the entire world. Apart from me, there is Father Ash, strongest and toughest among us. 
our sister fruitful apple tree, and a young oak which, oak which grows in the heart of the forest. Sorry to hear that. Don't be sad. People won't rule this world forever. Take my long twigs. They will never have sprouts in the spring. The leaves will never grow on them, and the leaves will never rustle in the warm wind in May. I don't need them, but you may have use of them. Good luck. Thanks, mighty willow. Farewell. I'm going to keep playing for a little bit because I wasted so much time. So maybe we can use the... Use something with the long twigs to move the cart. Then once we f find out that, I'll end the video. I'll end this episode. Because it is late, and I've recorded a lot. Item can't be applied here, so. Hmm. No. Where do I go? What do I do? I do something with the gnome again? Okay, well, I am at a loss right now, but I'll try to figure it out before I record the next episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this series, I guess is what you'd call it, since I plan to make it that, please like, subscribe, sub yeah, subscribe. See, I'm tired. I can't talk. Like, subscribe, comment, and share, and I'll have another episode up pretty soon.